So the last topic of protocoditta chapter is the characters classification and affinities of the uh, the subphylum cephalocoditta. This uh, cephalocoditta is this is the diagrammatic representation of the example of the cephalocoditta, uh, which is branchiostoma or amphioxus. The chordates are the general characters. To start with the general characters, all the cephalocordates, they are uh, they create a small subphylum of very small species. All around thirty known species are there in the uh, subphylum of uh, um, cephalocordata, and they are commonly called as lanceolates. The the cephalocordates include actually two important genera. The asymmetron and branchiostoma. That uh, the branchiostoma includes the amphioxus and cephalocordates. The character voice. They are the small fish-like animals which show typical chordate characters in their typical form. Uh, I'm expanding it to the full view. Now, this is a typical uh, um, uh, diagrammatic representation of amphioxus. Visually, they look like simplified fishes and they are quite capable of swimming short distances. The normally, they prefer to spend their time in sand of marine shores. All known species are marine. All protocordates are uh, marine. The body is typically divided into head and tail. The head head is very much not prominently divided. This is the area which is uh, in, in prominently. This is the area. This is the head area. This is the, uh, you can see the body and the tail. Uh, it is uh, like, it looks in appearance, it looks like the Syrian larva extended uh, body with a head and a body with a tail. Uh, we're having a typical chordate post anal tail. The typical chordate characters are mute nahi kiya hua aap ko. Uh, Just a minute. Sab apne aap ko mute kar lije kyunki bhoat aabaje aa rahi hai. अब मैं वापस लौटूंगी तो ये सारा बंद करना होगा सो इट इज रिकॉर्डिंग सो म्यूट ऑल ऑफ यू नाउ दिस इज द कैरेक्टर्स दीज आर द कैरेक्टर्स दे ऑकर ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड इन बोथ टेंपरेट एंड ट्रॉपिकल वाटर्स दे हैव लॉन्ग फैसिनेटेड बायोलॉजिस्ट बिकॉज दे एग्जिबिट ऑल फोर बेसिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ फाइलम कॉर्डिटा डॉसल ट्यूबुलर नर्व कॉर्ड नोटो कॉर्ड Post anal tail and pharyngeal gill slits, the typical chordate characters in their typical forms. This is the notochord, this is the nerve cord extending from end to end and splitted, later splitted into small. Uh, you must be looking these red colored small blocks. They represent the uh, presumptive vertebrae of the higher chordates. So, this is the typical uh, notochord. Above which is the north dorsal nerve cord, and uh, the body is bearing this head. The ventral side of this head is having a oral hood bearing buccal serai. In uh, in in between is the opening of the mouth. This is typical sac-like pharynx with numerous pharyngeal gill clefts. This is the gonad position of gonad, and typically it is having three openings: the mouth. The atriopore from water, uh, from where the water comes out, and the anus, the opening outer outer opening of the digestive uh, system. This is the post anal tail. So we can say they are having very fascinating position uh, for the biologists, uh, typically showing all chordate characters in their typical forms. The thirty known species of uh, branchiostomes or lanceolates are known. One occurs off Euro, uh, European shores, that is the Branchostoma lanceolatum, 
and there is another uh, species branchiostoma virginii these are two most commonly known uh, species of branchiostoma that is amphioxus these are the general characters the mouth is guarded by tentacles so already we have seen called buccal cirri and uh, through which water enters and atriopod then another important characteristic is the cephalocord have the cephalocordates have closed blood vascular system with a main ventral and paired dorsal aorta connected by a series of smaller vessels to the ventral aorta there is no central heart but instead a series of branchial hearts where each of the system meet the ventral aorta the blood of cephalocordate lacks hemoglobin and is colorless like the uh, other uh, protocordates the cephalocordates have a simple dorsal nerve cord enclosed in a sheet of collagen fiber running along the length of the body below the notochord from this arises a series of smaller nerves which serve the rest of the body there is no cranium no brain as found in the hard forms which is the vertebrata cephalocordates have a series of metameric segments that is one after another partially overlapping blocks of muscles of the body this is a structure which uh, it will be seen in uh, future presumptive vertebrates very much resembling to the fish this is the uh, position how the metameres are arranged in the uh, body wall of uh, the amphioxus this is a single myomere this z like structure zigzag structure the body musculature is arranged in such zigzag bands so this is it is uh, called as a single myostome and uh, this is the longitudinal longitudinal uh, view of a single myostome this is the uh, uh, myomere and this is the single myomere in transverse uh, situation and these myomeres jo ye jo muscle ke strands hain inko myostomes keh sakte hain aur ye jo myostomes hain ye together is tarah se several myomeres are longitudinally arranged forming Uh, the myomeres myostomes they are arranged longitudinally forming the myomeres so this is how the body uh, shows a segmented appearance the presence of uh, myomeres the uh, the other characters are of the cephalocordates are they are filter feeders like urocordates which most of with most of uh, the body being occupied by pharynx which exists within the atrial cavity water drawn in through the mouth by action of numerous beating cilia passes through many small slits in the pharynx before exiting via atriopod the inside of pharynx is lined with thin layer of mucus which is secreted by an organ called endostyle found along the ventral surface of the pharynx mucus is kept constantly moving up across the inner wall of the pharynx by more beating cilia until it meets the dorsal groove of pharynx from here it is swept back towards the animal stomach where it and the smaller particles of matter which have come trapped in it are digested so these uh, structures we have when we were looking into the structure of cephalocordata it is seen here the important characters of uh, amphioxus is here how the this is the position of the pharynx then this is the atriopod from where the water comes out this is the gonad and this is the digestive part of the alimentary canal pharynx continues into a, a stomach like structure where the digestion takes place and undigested food particle come out through this anus these uh, structures now the cephal uh, so reproduction in cephalocordate that is very much resembling the reproduction is of course of very much uh, cordate type then they are the uh, uh, the gonochoristic that is they are the dioecious but there is sexual dimorphism is not very much demarcated sexes are separate but sexual dimorphism sexual dimorphism I, you must be understanding the males and females are uh, identifiable uh, uh, 
in morphology only so that is very less prominent in um, amphioxus both sperms and eggs are released into water and fertilization is external from the these eggs hatch small ciliated larvae we soon change into amphioxus larvae uh, the, these are the uh, rather uh, not having very much metamorphic characters ye kareeb kareeb adult amphioxus ki tarah hi dikhte hain dikhte hain both of these larval forms are pelagic that is they live in water openly in a, uh, that is they are not benthic the surface water marine water mein rehte hain that is called as pelagic the opposite of pelagic is benthic jo deep water mein rehte hain sea floor pe rehte hain the amphioxus larvae feeds on plankton until it is large enough to metamorphose into an adult whereupon it moves to the sea floor to take up its fairly sedentary lifestyle so the larvae are more or less this is the amphioxus uh, how it uh, this this figure shows this is the uh, photograph rather you can say sea shore pe amphioxus is tarah se ab dekh sakte hain iska oral hood wala region uh, pani ke surface ko directly baat karta hua rehta hai aur ne piche ka part fish ki tarah dikh raha hai jo kareeb kareeb sea shore mein thoda sa burrowed rehta hai partially it, is, it remains burrowed and these are the structures of internal structures of the amphioxus which uh, it is very much visible uh, because it's uh, the body wall is very transparent in covering now the classification of cephalochorida characters we have seen mute kijiye aap log sab apne ko the cephalochorida represent very primitive example of basic chordate plant as we have already seen it is a small group bearing 30 species only and a single class that is the leptocardi yes this is the the phylum called uh, cephalochordata represents a very primitive example of basic chordate plant and in some way resemble what scientists think the original ancestor to the vertebrate and they have they may have looked like it is uh, supposed by the scientists however in their current form it is generally agreed that they represent a side branch of evolution rather than a direct ancestor so again there is controversy again scientists are having the different opinion some of scientists have the opinion that they may be they, are, they represent a direct chordate ancestor but another view is that again like the hemichordates and urochordates it may be that uh, the the cephalochordates they may represent a side branch of evolution than rather than a direct ancestor how whatever the case is it is a small group having a single class that is leptocardi order amphioxio uh, amphioxiformes and these are the details of the genus and family as much you want to go now the amphioxus the most common example it is interesting bottom dwelling cephalochordate illustrating the four distinctive chordate characteristics the vertebrate ancestor is thought to have had a similar body plan that is the internal structure living amphioxus in living position these are the two figures this is the internal structure of an uh, amphioxus and this is the photograph of a living amphioxus how it, it is uh, seen what is a typical position for filter feeding the oral hood with tentacles you can uh, remarkably see how what is the position of the oral hood uh, during the filter feeding so this is the characters the closed circulatory system is complex for so simple a chordate a chordate ki tarah ka simple circulatory system hota hai the flow pattern of the blood is remarkably similar to that of primitive fishes although there is no heart ha uh, circulatory pattern fish ki tarah ka hai but there is no specific heart like structure blood is pumped forward in the ventral aorta by peristaltic like uh, currents 
of the uh, vessel wall then passes upward through the branchial arteries or the aortic arteries in the pharyngeal bars to the paired dorsal aorta which join to become a single dorsal aorta from here the blood is distributed to the body tissues by micro circulation that is capillary se circulate hota hai and then is collected in veins which return into the ventral aorta the very typical uh, circulatory plan like the pessine uh, blood circulatory uh, plane you can say lacking both erythrocytes and hemoglobin their blood is thought to transport nutrients and this is uh, unlike the typical fishes that is erythrocytes and hemoglobin are not at all present in amphioxus and that is why it is supposed that they mainly work the do the work of assimilation that is the distribution of digested food in place of any role in gas exchange the nervous system is centered around a hollow nerve cord lying above the notochord the pairs of spinal nerve roots emerge at each trunk myomeric segment sense organs are very simple unpaired bipolar receptors located in various parts of the body the brain the so called brain you can say the, the true brain is not at all present a uh, uh, centralized ganglion like structure which is which may be compared with the brain is a simple vesicle at the anterior end of the nerve cord the sexes are separate sex cells are set free in atrial cavity then pass out the atrial pore to the outside where fertilization occurs fertilization is external as in all cases of protocardic the cleavage is total and a gastrula is formed by invagination the typical uh holoblastic cleavage is there the larvae hatch soon after the deposition and gradually assume the shape of adult no other cordate shows the basic diagnostic cord cordate characteristic as clearly as amphioxus so amphioxus may be uh, in majority of cases amphioxus may be referred as the ancestral cordata in addition to the four cordate anatomical hallmarks Amphioxus possesses several structural features that suggest their vertebrate plan. Among these are hepatic cecum, a diverticulum that resembles a vertebrate pancreas in secreting digestive enzymes, then segmented trunk musculature, and the basic circulatory plan of most advanced chordates. Many zoologists consider Amphioxus a living descendant of an ancestor that gave rise to both cephalochordates and the vertebrates. Therefore, cephalochordates are, in cladistic terms, the sister group of vertebrata. That is, it is said that together, from a common ancestor, the cephalochordates and the chordates have uh, developed. Now, before entering into the typical affinities. Uh, of cephalochordata let us see because cephalochordata ka phylogenetic importance bahut zyada hai cephalochordata mein bahut sare primitive characters uh, hai bahut sare uh, degenerative characters hain aur bahut sare peculiar characters hain so on the basis of degenerative primitive and specialized characters the branchiostoma have been considered to be a very interesting branch of studies some of the primitive characters of the cephalochordata are as such there is no specialized head absence of paired fins the epidermis is made up of single row of cells a true dermis is absent coelom is enterocoelous a complete notochord is persistent throughout the life with no vertebral column there is a complete metameric segmentation of myotomes from one end to other as in the embryo of vertebrates and this obvious metabolism is retained throughout the life The elementary canal is a straight tube without loops, and the midgut diverticulum is a hollow tube. No jaws are present. So these are the very primitive characters of the uh, cephalochordates. Then a peculiar pharynx is specialized for ciliary feeding, in which sorting of food takes place after a food-laden current of water that enters the pharynx. it involves taking a very large volume of water and continuous removal through numerous gill clefts the blood vascular system diagrammatically vertebrate like without a heart and practically no distinction between arteries and veins special respiratory organs and respiratory pigments completely absent excretory organs are segmental proto nephridia having solono solenocytes 
these are not coelomodocs. They don't have coelomodocs, very primitive type of uh, nephridia for the excretion. The neural tube does not form an interior an anterior brain. The dorsal and ventral nerve roots do not unite to form spinal nerves. Dorsal roots have no ganglia, consequently impulses pass directly from the skin to the neural tube. Paired sense organs are present as eyes, ears, and nose are completely absent. The paired sense organs are not present. The receptor, uh, receptors present are of very primitive type. Gonads segmentally arranged without gonoducts. Eggs are small with almost no yolk. Blastula is hollow, spherical, and single layered. Now, the degenerative characters. The degenerative characters are those characters which are, it is uh, said that they are, they must have been lost or degenerative secondarily. The bronchiostoma, they may be a specialized and degenerative ascendants of agnatha. That is, the agnatha is the true vertebrata. This may jaw nahi hota hai. So, ye kaha, it is uh, said ki ho sakta hai ki agnatha like kuch koi ancestor ho, this may kuch characters degenerate ho gaya ho on, uh, before, and they have been known as bronchiostoma or amphioptos. The three important degenerative characters are poorly developed brain and simple sensory organs, lack of any cartilaginous or bony endoskeleton, and lack of gonoducts. And apart from these degenerative characters, there are certain specialized characters or sensory characters which are, which may be categorized or mentioned as the uh, peculiar adaptations uh, for its um, peculiar mode of life. They probably prevent them to undergo further evolution. The degenerate and specialized characters do not consider branchiostoma in direct line of caudate evolution. Cephalocaudates arose as a side of shoe. So these are the de specialized characters of amphiostoma. An oral hood enclosing the mouth, which is provided with oral serai bearing sensory organs. Elaborate velum with sensory velar, velar tentacles. An extre uh, extreme anterior extension of notochord into ros rostrum seen in no other cord. Notochord uh, rostrum matlab mouth jaha pe hai, wahan tak extend karta hai, but which is very peculiar condition. It is stronger for and adapted probably for burrowing. Very large and elaborate pharynx with an accompanying multiplication of ciliated gill clefts. The extra number of gill clefts is unrelated to body segmentation. Wheel organ and hashic groove and pit that is compar uh, comparable with the lateral line system of the fishes develop which help in ciliary feeding. Formation of a large atrium with an atriopore. Peculiar reduction and distortion of coelom by atrium and curious asymmetry seen in the adult and in early development. So on the basis of these specialized characters, branchiostoma has a simple organization compared to vertebrates because many important craniate structures are lacking in it. But it is definitely a simple chordate having a large number of primitive characters like notochord, dorsal hollow nerve cord, and gill clefts. So on the basis of these uh, primitive, uh, specialized, and degenerative uh, characters, uh, the amphiostoma has shown the affinities with the different groups. The uh, other uh, specialized characters are post anal tail, hepatic diverticulum, hepatic portal system, and the beginning of a ventral heart. These characters show probable structure of original chordate ancestor. Now, the, uh, the last is the affinities, affinities of branchiostoma. The branchiostoma show close affinity to chordates and hemichordates specifically. The branchostoma show affinities with non-chordates as well as chordates. Phyllochordata have been regarded to be phylogenetically related to several non-chordate groups at one time or other. These can be overlooked in favor of the more chordate-like characters of cephalochordates. Bahut zada, bahut zari chote chote characters resemble karte hai non-chordate se, but unko bahut zada emphasize nahi kiya gaya because the chordate affinities were much more evident. And chordate affinities uh, of the branchiostoma or the cephalochordata are like this. They exhibit three basic chordate features such as notochord, dorsal tibular nerve cord, pharyngeal gill slits, 
in most typical manner and there is no doubt about its quadrant nature however it exhibits relationship with the all major group of phylum quadrata and its real status in phylum remains uncertain then it shows affinities with hemi quadrata hemi quadrata ke sath bhi iske bahut sare characters uh, remarkable characters mark kiye gaye hain like the pharyngeal apparatus with numerous gill slits filter feeding mechanism respiratory mechanism enterocilia silom and numerous gonads without gonada but the objections are also there uh, they have cannot be considered with the hemiquadrates because of the presence of specifically the musculature in form of uh, bands jo hemiquadrata mein unsegmented hota hai so this is musculature is of peculiar type nervous system distinctly of non quadrate type hemi quadrates mein hote hain and gill slits dorsal in position instead of lateral as is usually present in the quadrates jo ki hemi quadrata mein dorsal hota hai post anal tail is lacking in hemi quadrate moreover inclusion of hemi quadrata under quadrata is also uncertain because a doubtful nature of notochord this shows hemi quadrata is more primitive than cephalo quadrata so affinities with uro quadrata bankostoma and herdmania that is uro quadrata is regarded to be very closely related because of these similarity a primitive ciliary feeding and respiratory mechanism large pharynx with many gill slits endostyle producing mucus very pharyngeal bands and an epipharyngeal group an ectoderm lined atrial cavity opening to the exterior by an atriopore or its homolog the atrial siphon the mantle of hudmania is equivalent to atrial folds of branchiostoma this besides the homologies of adult anatomy there are embryonic similarities also with uh, in, in urocordata and cephalocordata there is a very striking similarities of x of tunicates to those of branchiostoma both there is an identical arrangement of future parts in the cytoplasm and the early stages of development especially in formation of nervous system and notochord are practically identical such vast similarities afford convincing evidence of a close relationship between cephalocordata and urocordata and they show that both have been derived from a common ancestor but the objections are again there the adult urocordata are extremely degenerate not at all resembling the amphioxus they are the sedentary animals having several characters not found in branchiostoma so this is the very main objection the main objections are uh, regarding uh, the adult of 2r uh, uh, the body unsegmented and covered by a cellulose test in uh, urocordata without hollow nerve cord and notochord with liver with a heart coverted by peritoneum absence of nephridia these are the characters present in urocordata but not at all in cephalocordata six is united and gonads hermaphrodite larva undergoes retrogressive metamorphosis these differences show that in spite of close similarities reflecting probable common ancestry the cephalocordates are better evolved than urocordates no doubt then finally the affinity is with cyclostomata that is a true chordate group uh, that includes the agnathans that is jawless vertebrates the uh, the similarities of branchiostoma and amosit uh, larva of lamprey are very much similar in uh, these following characters elongated slender fish like body continuous dorsal median fin mouth surrounded by oral hood presence of a velum pharynx with an endostyle and gill slits and presence of dorsal ho hollow nerve cord and notochord so besides these fundamental quadrate characters their adults have persistent velum gill slits metameric myotomes and a post anal tail so these are the very peculiar characteristics which show their close affinity with the cyclostomes and then again there are certain very peculiar characteristics which are very closely associated to other vertebrates that is post anal tail metameric myotomes silom lined by mesodermal epithelium medgar diverticulum comparable with liver well formed hepatic portal system with forward flow of blood in ventral and backward flow of blood in dorsal longitudinal vessels and now in the last last but not the least there are serious objections putting them into the 
uh, with the vertebrates are absence of head, paired limbs, skull, vertebral column, muscular, true heart, blood without RBCs, brain, sense organs, and gonoducts are of uh, completely different type. In possessing nephridia, atrium, numerous, uh, numerous gonads, asymmetry. So these are the serious uh, dissimilarities. The, so the based upon all these uh, discussions, it can be uh, constituted the conclude. It can be concluded that the cephalochordates they acquire a very peculiar position in the phylogeny. The old concept that branchostoma is a recent derivative of Fasciadians have been abandoned. That is not accepted. Alternatively, acrinata may be a specialized and degenerated descendant of the agnatha. The evidence as to the real position of acrania is still insuffi insufficient. Investigations tend to bring them nearest to the uh, craniates, uh, the craniates. These are the very primitive vertebrates. The branchostoma and its allies, most probably fish-like creatures, existed in Silurian sea and vertebrates evolved. Now, this is the distribution in phylogeny. As uh, I have got from some uh, notes, I, I thought it may be useful for them. These are the different uh, species which are found in different areas of the world. And it is up to you how much you uh, consider them uh, useful. So with this ends the uh, the meeting. <laughs>